You can call it Tetris Attack, you can jam Pokemon into it and say they belong there, but at the end of the day, if you're swapping panels around horizontally, trying to stop them from reaching the top of the screen, competing with an opponent, and occasionally advancing the block's progress yourself just to get more ammunition, you know what game you're playing. You can call it Panel de Pawn or Tetris whatever, or have a Pikachu on hand, whatever you like. But you're playing good old Puzzle League. It's taken a long time to call it that here in the States, but here we are with an alarmingly comfortable version for the DS. Welcome to Planet Puzzle League. The rules are simple. Three or more in a row, horizontally or vertically. The more elaborate the cascade of gravity-fueled reactions, the higher you score. And if you're in a competitive mode against the computer or a friend, bigger chains result in more garbage thrown to your opponent's side. The only way to eliminate said trash is by completing a reaction adjacent to it, which will convert one or more lines of the garbage into viable, fissionable panels. You may notice that I'm holding the DS here at a 90 degree angle. This allows for more comfortable display of the panels, as well as easy thumb access to the R button for calling up more rows from the bottom. Call the DS gimmicky if you will, but certain things just work better on it than anywhere else. Could you imagine trying to play Elite Beat Agents on the Wii? I rest my case. Adding to the bevy of game modes are several daily challenges, which offer two-minute time trials and graph the results so you can measure your improvement as the weeks pass. It's a cute little trick picked up from the Brain Age series and implemented in a number of Nintendo's Touch Generations releases. Also, in addition to the standard Move Limited Puzzle mode, there's a Mission mode which presents a timed series of tasks, ranging from clear everything to flatten the stack to make a 10x chain. While the game itself doesn't feature too many bells and whistles, and for that matter, no Yoshi's Island or Pokemon branding in sight, the cleanliness of the UI and no-nonsense practicality of the controls give the game a more professional, grown-up feel. And while there's something to be said for a little showmanship, certainly Tetris DS stands as an example of this, when you're entranced in a game trying to analyze contingencies of contingencies of contingencies, you're never going to notice it anyway. If anything, you'll appreciate the nice techno backbeat as your eyes glaze over. That's how it should be. But if you absolutely need something else in your life, or someone else for that matter, and slavish devotion to a puzzle game isn't going to do it for you, fortunately there's Wi-Fi support for taking on the world in a fit of panel popping peak. That is, if there's anyone on the other end. I haven't been able to find an opponent yet despite numerous attempts. I realize that online multiplayer is the wave of the future, but what if there aren't multiplayers online? What if you're the only one at any particular time? It happens more often than you'd think. Oh well, you can still just phone a colleague whose friend code you've obtained, throw down the gauntlet verbally, and get your panel day on. Yeah.